Well, I'm back to working on the graph light. And one of the things that had frustrated me is I didn't really have a light to light with it that um, had a low enough breakover voltage for it to run as slow as I wanted it to run. So what I thought I'd do, and what I did do, is um, ordered some LEDs. There was a hundred of them for just a few bucks. Uh, there are 5630, 5730 surface mount LEDs that uh, have a forward voltage of 3 volts. So that way they'll light at a much lower uh, speed hopefully with the graph light. But of course I can't just make them work like that. So what I'm going to do is I've designed the light. I'm then going to, that's going to have four of these mounted on a piece of strategically cut copper. And I'm going to put that inside of this uh, burnt out halogen uh, bulb. And that's going to be my light. The way I'm going to make the light is in a couple steps. I have a piece of scrap copper cut down that I'm going to solder the LEDs to. And to do it, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to basically tape this onto this piece of wood to give it a little more support while I'm cutting it out. So I'm attach my pattern to that. Not sure if you can see it on the pattern, but I have gray areas. When I'm all done, it's just the orange areas that I want left with the LEDs arranged basically like you can kind of see in this picture here. But initially, I'm just going to cut out the gray areas. And that's going to leave the structure in place to hold everything together while I solder in place the LEDs and then I can cut out the rest of the structure. If you look at these, it's hard to tell, but the center pad is common with the side it's closer to. So the way this is designed is um, the thicker side is supposed to touch both the center pad and one side. Let's put a dab on each one here. This way I could put a dab on the pad too. Just a little bit. Okay, there's a small section I have to cut out here to break the circuit there. Then I just have to cut out the outside of the structure to separate them all from the entire copper plate. It's not actually physically attached to the wood, so that should come off quite easily. Uh-oh! What happened is I had no support from the bottom. The blade caught the structure and tore the solder joints apart, breaking one of the LEDs. Well, after my failure at the saw, I was able to just stick the pieces of copper that I cut out down on a piece of tape and solder the fresh LEDs in place. And there was a small jumper for the last LED to complete the circuit. Now I'm going to hook it up to see if it lights. Okay, it's kind of small here, but let's see if I clip this onto the thicker side. Thicker so side. Yeah. And then we take a 
this guy. And we light it up. It's not quite as bright as this, which actually required close to uh, 18, 20 volts to light the whole thing at once. Right here I'm lighting this. Not quite as bright, but bright enough with 3 volts. So what I have here is going to be the top for the light bulb. Just to confirm it's still working. It's basically going to hang right down inside the bulb. There's a lip on the top of this. I'm just going to screw this on. Just snug it down and it'll hold nicely. There we have our bulb. We have the bulb attached to the grab light or to the generator. So I give it a quick spin, it lights up all right. But I also have done a few other things. I've built a custom weight. This weight is much lighter than um, actually having the free weights and the bag of gravel on. This is really less than 40 pounds, where when I had all the weight on before it was probably close to 100 pounds. So it's a lot less force to drive it. To that end, I have a couple other things I'm working on. Here, I'm going to replace... I have a uh, Schottky diode rectifier made to replace the one I had in use that I purchased as a rectifier. The uh, main difference between those is the uh, breakover voltage is going to be much lower with the Schottky diodes. Where the one, the one that's on here has a breakover voltage of 3 volts or so. The Schottky one would be um, less than 1 volt. So right now it barely runs with that much weight. The other thing is I'm making a new pulley, much, much bigger. So it's going to greatly reduce the runtime, but also increase the speed it runs at quite a bit. But first, we'll try the rectifier to see how much that changes. All right, it. now I have it hooked up with the uh, Schottky diode rectifier, and it now does not have enough weight to run it without my hand going on the weight here. Because the current's much closer to a short now, because there's less um, effort to get over the rectifier, it takes more weight to drive the alternator. Because how much it takes to spin this is relative to the load on it. So the higher the resistance here, the easier this is to spin. The more free-flowing, the much harder it is for this to spin. So, that brings me to the next step of putting on my new pulley. That's quite a bit bigger than where I started from. Here we have it. The custom LED bulb, the shot key bridge rectifier. I upped the capacitor to, I think it's a 220 UF one now. We have uh, two resistors in parallel that are 100 ohms, so it's basically 50 ohm equivalent. Start her out. Show some of the lights here. Dark room. Kind of an interesting effect from the bulb. Well, there's a couple different brightnesses it can. If I go to um, the other resistor, it actually flickers a little brighter because that's a 1 ohm resistor versus 50 ohms. This one comes out a little smoother. It doesn't bleed off the capacitor as fast. A little bit more light, it gives a little more brightness, but 
brightness pulses a bit, mainly because uh, imperfections in my alternator construction kind of spins off center to hair. I have different amounts of windings on each rod at 1 minute 28 seconds. I'm going to scale back a bit how ambitious I was with the, some of the brightness just so I could get a decent run time out of it. I had it brighter at some other points. But putting that much weight on that I had on other times was just getting kind of dangerous. So we're going for three minutes. Steady. Three minutes, forty-five seconds. Four minutes, twenty-six seconds. Five minutes, forty-three seconds. Still going strong. Six minutes. See, we got just a few inches yet. Not really going to do any more changes to it. This is my final version, final rework, final design. Um, I would be surprised at some point if I switch out the alternator and the light and try to make kind of a static spark generator kind of device out of it. But uh, as far as the grab point, this is the final video. That is it. 7 minutes, 32 seconds. Better run time than I thought I was going to end up with. Um, not running quite as bright as I'd want it, but uh, eh, not too bad. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Uh, that's, I know there's a few people out there that were interested in the plans. I will clean them up as best I can and uh, publish them in the coming weeks on my website. Once again, thanks for watching.